Welcome to another video. Welcome to the world. So the now I'm here on Blackpool Promenade. It's Queen's Promenade here in Blackpool, about a mile north of the tower. And it's the third day of the hotel fight, just up here behind me. The new Hackett's Hotel, which has been derelict. Well, it's been empty for about for about five years, I think, and it's been on fire before a couple of times. But this one, I think, is the death knell for the new Hackett's Hotel. And uh, I'm going to take a look up there now and see how it's going. I think it was still smoking earlier on today, so we're going to take a look. And I'll also take a look around the back in this video, folks. So stay tuned in this video. I'm going to be taking a look around the back of the hotel. Let's see how it's going. Yeah, so we're looking up there. The trams are running as well, Dad. So you can see the trams are running again now, folks. They had actually stopped the trams for the last couple of days. So as you can see, the trams are now running again. So... Let's take a look up there now and see what's going on. They've blocked off the promenade, of course. They've put fencing all around and um, it looks like they're gonna bring the thing down. Yeah, so let's go and check it out. Let's take a closer look. Can you see Blackpool Tower all the way down there? Like I say, it's around about a mile away to the south. So we're just north of Ginn Square down there and I'll just show you around. They've actually brought the cordon inwards now, so you can now walk where we couldn't walk the other day. There's the Savoy Hotel there. Bit of work going on there, actually, at the Savoy there, look. And uh, as I bring the camera around, we can now see... Look at this now. So we've got demolition vans here. J.D. Young, I believe they're from Bakel. J.D. Young there. Yeah, so check this out, the demolition wagon there and they've got a massive skip there and a digger uh, that digger there has got like a big claw on it you know the sort of claw that they use to uh, to knock buildings down so it might not be long folks they've got a cherry picker over there as well look yeah so we're looking at the block now and you can see there look at that there look wow it's just a shell isn't it look at that Standing there in the background, the Cliffs Hotel. And look at this here. It's just a shell, isn't it? I can't see any fire engine other than the one, well, the one in front of me here. There might be some more around the other side. There's one there. There might be some around the back. I don't know. I'm going to be taking a look around the back later, folks. So stay with the video. We're going to take a look at the front at the moment. And uh, we'll take a little look around the back later. But yeah, it does look like... The hotel is going to be demolished sometime soon. Okay, so I've just come down to Jubilee Gardens here, opposite the block, and uh, there's quite a bit of discussion going on down here. A few officials, fire service, emergency services discussing things, probably discussing what the next plan is for the hotel, but uh, there's demolition workers here as well. I think that they'll be on hand to uh, look at the damage and just maybe partially demolish it or take the whole thing down. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But uh, this is how it looks at the moment. OK, so you might be able to see the people down there all discussing there. Lots of uh, frantic discussions going on. The trams are running. Yeah, they were So we're taking a look at the front now. You can see the whole of the block, starting with the Berkeley, the Maples Hotel, and there's like a hotel in the middle there that's, uh, it looks closed, but uh, this is the, the hotel in question right here, the new Hackett's here. Look at that there, look. See right through to the back. Wow. It's gonna have to come down, folks. Look at that, it's just a shell, isn't it? Wow. So, like I said, I will take a look around the back if I can. So. Well, the trams are on a bit of a go slow around this section. You can see the tower there in the distance. Look at that, it's a bit amazing. Coming uphill here. It's a high part of Blackpool Promenade as well, yeah. So there are all the officials down there, the fire, the gas, police. I've got council officials in there, all discussing 
what the next move is going to be. I think the trans might have to travel slow around here because the rumbling. Can you imagine if a tram thunders along here? <laughs> it could just be enough to, uh, you know, knock some of this down. What do you think? There you go, folks, the new Hackett's Hotel, this sign, even after all this devastation, still survives. I wonder if someone will take that sign off and use it as like a memento of the new Hackett's Hotel. Well, as you can see, it looks like they've finally got the fire under control. There's only one appliance here that I can see. It's that one just down there. And I will be taking a look around the back in a minute, but uh, it does look like finally they've got it under control. I heard it was still smouldering this morning. They were pouring water on it this morning, but yeah, it looks like it's finally out. So I think now we'll try and see if we can take a look around the side and then around the back. So that street there is closed off down the side of the cliff. So what I'll do is I'll take a look down the next street along and see if I can get along around the back there, maybe down the alley. Let's see what we can see, shall we? I'll tell you what, I can hear a load of sirens in the distance, but uh, I don't think they're coming here. I've just come into the grounds of the, uh, the Cliffs Hotel because I thought I'd give you a look at the side here. And you can see them vans there. I wonder what the deal is with these vans. Yeah, these vans have been here for years. Someone commented yesterday and they said that these vans have been here for a long time. So I wonder what. Oh, hello. Going along the tram tracks, the uh, police car there. Armed response as well. Oof, I wonder where that's going. So there you go. This is how it looks around the side there you go now i'll see if i can have a look around the back i'll tell you what that porch to the cliffs hotel reminds me of a planetarium what do you think folks did i tell any of you that i'm an astronomer and i've got another channel called starman starman astro follow me on youtube anyway i'm going to head down this road here it's called empress drive and hopefully i might be able to get around the back down here. Let's have a look, shall we? So this is how it looks down the back alley behind the Cliffs Hotel. Absolutely huge hotel. And we're just coming out now onto, uh, I don't know the name of this road actually, but uh, we're just round the back end of the Nick Hackett's now. Look at this. You can see as well, can't you? Those extensions there, I'm pretty sure that the extensions were added after the original block there. A lot of that was going on in Blackpool in the olden days, you know. A lot of hotels, guest houses were heavily extended as the Blackpool boomed in the, in the late 19th century into the 20th century, yeah. If you look at a lot of the guest houses, you know, around the central area, you can see how they've been extended. But this is how it looks around the back. Check this out, folks. There's another empty hotel here. King Edward Avenue. That's what this is, yeah, between the Hackett's and the Cliffs. And look at that hotel there, all boarded up. Is that another hotel that's bitten the dust? And there's the Cliffs there. Look at the blue skies we've got in Blackpool as well. Nice blue skies this morning. It's a lot calmer than it was yesterday. A bit warmer as well. I can actually feel the heat. And there's a look down the alley here, which is all taped off. Just look at that view there. You can see right towards, right past the Gin pub there. Can you see? Look at this. The Grand Hotel. And look at that view of the tower there. Wow. It's all closed off. Here's a little look at the views from Blackpool. Not quite as clear as yesterday. Can't quite see Wales today, but just look at this beach, folks. Look at that. Don't you wish that you were here? I'm just going to pan around now to the northwest. 
and Cumbria. I tell you what, the view of the Lake District last night at sunset was unbelievable. You could pick out all the hills. You can see right up to Helvellyn from here. OK, so I'm now just leaving now. That's a little update on the new Hackett's uh, fire here in Blackpool. This is Jamie from Jamie's Adventure Blogs. Hello, guys. Uh, give him a follow. Jamie's Adventure Vlogs, should I say. Give him a follow on YouTube. Anyway, it looks like they're going to be bringing in demolition uh, equipment very soon. They're going to be putting, like, some uh, protective stuff on the road, you know? One of the demolition guys said they're going to be putting some big, like, massive logs on the road. So... They're going to be bringing that in later. Heavy equipment coming in here. I think it's going to be coming down pretty soon. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I'll keep you updated. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.